Okay, people from YouTube, uh, I just want to try to do this video to help you if you are a, a you know, Sony mini, mini disc fan uh, and you want to, to work with your NetMD uh, mini disc driver, you know, like this kind, you know, the Walkman uh, NetMD mini disc. Okay. So if you upgrade from Windows 7 to Windows 10 or 8.1 or 8 uh, and you can't make it work so I was uh, you know trying to find uh, solutions on Google and, and this is the solution that I find. So when we try to run um, Sony Stage, Sonic Sonic stage okay and over here we can find the driver I mean the, the mini disk right the net MD so as you can see over here it's not listed in here so I just can create a, an audio CD or mp3 CD whatever right so we close this and you're gonna download this okay read this I hope you can see that. Let me close it up to you. There. Okay, make a note of it. You can pause the video and copy that link. So the first link is to download the drivers and the second is to download the the Sonic stage uh, 4.3 okay so let's continue okay so when you try you first install sonic stage 4.3 and then you connect your your mini disc and if you can install the drivers right so in windows 10 or 8.1 you have to do this Okay, let's go. you have to go to settings. Okay, in the start menu you have to go to settings. And then you go into update and security. And then you go to recovery. And you click start now, restart now. Okay, now we click troubleshoot, troubleshoot, and then advanced options, advanced options, and then startup settings, and then we click restart again. And when this window comes up, okay, this is a window with a, a startup settings. And I, I don't I don't know why I have this flick flicking uh, in my in my you know in my monitor but in this page we click I mean we press F7 in the keyboard F7 and the computer will restart again So in this page we have disabled the uh, driver's signature, you know, for to install the drivers without a window signature. So when you go to the process of installing the driver, you know, once again, like we go over here to uh, control panel, okay, 
because I already have them installed. So we go to uh, devices and printers. And devices and printers. We're going to find the, the devices that we have connected to the computer. i7 and you take it that long okay so i have them installed here so you know you're gonna click properties hardware netmd properties and you're gonna click this button here chain settings all right and you're gonna go to driver and you're gonna do you know install driver okay like you're gonna have the install driver here and when you install you just click continue anyway okay because you're gonna have a pop-up window uh, asking you about the same signature so you're just gonna click install anyway so i'm gonna put here the driver Browse my computer next so it's it's already installed here right close 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 and then I go to sonic stage and you can see I have it over here now and this is the tracks that I have in my in my mini disk all these tracks, you know, this is the uh, RH1, the MZRH1, and you know I can transfer the songs. You know, we can I can transfer these songs to to the computer. Other 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 mini discs, except this one, they are not able to transfer to the computer. All right, unless they they were. Uh, made in the same computer but this one you can transfer any anything from the mini disks to the computer this cannot okay so i think you already know about that so i don't want to go further to that so you know i i can transfer this song yes and as you can see the access access light is on it's flashing and it's transferring and it's done so I got the song transferred to the PC so it is working now so that's the way you do okay and thank you for watching